Hi, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the exponential distribution. Uh, here is a problem. Um, some research company conducted a study of service times at the drive-up window of fast food restaurants. The average time between placing an order and receiving the order at McDonald's, McDonald's restaurants was 2.78 minutes. Waiting times such as these frequently follow an exponential distribution. So we know mu or um, average service time is 2.78 minutes for our problem. Uh, we want to know what is the probability that a customer service time is less than two minutes. So if I were to draw this on an exponential, um, uh, the exponential curve for it, x, it, which is service times, I want to know what's the probability that x would be two minutes or less. That would be this area right here. And I know that the total area under the curve always equals one. So how do we solve this? We need to use the uh, cumulative density function because service times is a continuous random variable and finding an exact value of uh, the probability of an exact value of x has a probability of zero. So we need to calculate uh, the probability for a range of values. So we want to know the probability that x will be two minutes or less. That's a range of values. The density function, the cumulative density function for the exponential distribution is given as probability that x is less than or equal to x naught equals one minus e raised to the power of negative x naught divided by mu, where mu is the average service time. Now, keep in mind that whether I say x less than x naught or, le or x less than or equal to x naught, my answer would be the same because the probability that x would be exactly x naught equals zero. Now, for this problem, to translate this uh, into a uh, notation that we need, we say probability that service times is less than two is equal to one minus e raised to the power of negative two over 2.78. Now, um, let me tell you how to uh, work this problem on your calculator uh, and what key punches, key strokes you need to put in. We start from right to left. You want to first put a two and turn it into a negative on your calculator display. So you push two, then you push the plus minus sign uh, or button. So now you should have a negative two on your display. Then you do divide because we want to divide that by. Then you push 2.78. And at this, this point, if you push equal, you should have the answer of negative two divided by 2.78, which at this point should be negative 0 0.71942, if you um, have your calculator set to five decimals. So once you have that number, that's the answer to that um, exponent. You want to take e, which is Euler's number, and raise it to that power. So here's how you do this. You push second function key, and then you push the natural log, the ln button, the uh, button that says ln on it. And at this point, when you do that, you essentially have 0 0.48 703 on your calculator display. And that number is e raised to the power of that exponent. But that's not all. What we need to do is we need to turn that number into a negative entry. So at this point, again, push plus minus button on your display. So now you have that number as a negative number appearing. But then you want to add one to it, because it's one, uh, plus one um, added to this entry. So push uh, plus, and then push one. And at this point, if you push the equal button, and don't forget to push the equal button, your answer to this problem should be 0 0.51297. 
So approximately 0 0.513 is our answer here, 0 0.513. So um, the probability that uh, service time will be less than two minutes is approximately 51.3%. Now, the complement of it is that now we know this unshaded area must be 1 minus 0 0.513. And remember, this area is probability that x will be greater than 2. Or even we could say it is the probability uh, that x is greater than or equal to 2. Either way, it's the same answer. So uh, this answer, or this unshaded area, would be 0 0.487. Now we can expand this problem and now say or compute um, what is the probability that service time will be anywhere between 2 minutes to 5 minutes. To solve a problem like this where you want to have an overlapped area, this is service times this is our x variable on this axis. And we want to know the probability that x will be, or service time will be between 2 to 5 minutes. Now we need to solve this as two separate problems. One of them is probability that x is less than 2. That one we just solved, and that one was um, this area right here. And we just solve that to be 0 0.513. Now to solve the other part, we do probability that x is less than 5. To do that, of course, we need to uh, apply our formula again, which is 1 minus e raised to the power of negative 5 divided by 2.78. Remember, in this problem now, our x naught is 5 but our uh, average service time continues to be 2.78. So now to find this area, which is from 5 all the way to the left, and that is given by this area right here. I'll tell you the keystrokes again. We put a 5 plus or minus key, divide 2.78 equals second function key, natural log button, plus or minus key to turn it into a negative number, plus 1 equals. If you go through that calculation, you get as the answer 0 0.83446. So we know from he under the curve, from 5 all the way to this end is 0 0.83446. That would be from 5 all the way out this here, all of this strip right here. But we also know that from 2 all the way to the left is 0 0.53. So this uh, over this area right here between 2 to 5 would have to be the difference between these two numbers. So probability that x is between 2 and 5 is equal to probability that x uh, is less than 5 minus probability that x is less than 2. And those numbers are 0 0.8345, I'm rounding, minus 0 0.513. Again, I've rounded. And that answer is approximately um, 0 0.32. So the probability that uh, x would be between 2 to 5 minutes is 0.32 or 32% chance of that. Thank you.